Okay, so we've had the blower door running for about 20 minutes now, and you can definitely feel the yep. difference in air temperature in here. It's a lot colder. Uh, so Fleming, what are typically the uh, steps that you take to document uh, what you're looking for? So now with the infrared camera, we have the option of uh, taking the image. And in the past, we would normally have brought out our smoke stick and maybe verify some of that draft. However, with the uh, infrared camera, we can take the infrared image, we can take the digital image of mm -hmm. the problem, and we can do a voice recording. The voice recording gets used when we get back to the office to build the report for the customer so that we get exactly the detailed information in there instead of having your notepad and then those notations, which picture do they belong to. Mm -hmm. Now everything is together in one package. Wow, so you can work a lot faster and yeah. more efficiently. Yeah, and, and um, no errors, no mistakes. Uh, everything is uh, very to the point and very precise on the information that the customer needs. Okay, well, I, th I know that we uh, found some air infiltration in one of these canned lights here, so I know you want to take a minute to uh, document your images um, as well as uh, any type of uh, notation. Yeah, so right here we have a uh, recessed light, um, definitely air infiltration, and uh, recommend um, putting an insulation box on top of it, possibly uh, replacing the uh, light bulb with a CFL light bulb to produce less heat output and not having concern about overheating this particular fixture. Um, and uh, that's usually the, the recommended, if you can get to the backside of it with a, a insulation box. Otherwise, uh, replacing uh, recessed light fixtures with um, surface mounted mm -hmm. fixtures is, is a good option too, but it's a little more involved and not everybody wants to go that way. So now, of course, we're looking at the, the window that we looked at before the blower door was on where we thought we could see some air leak. Um, now the blower door is on. With the infrared camera, you can really precisely see where you need caulking and more insulation. Yeah, um, actually on the window, um, it's usually, if you want to keep the old window, I recommend weather strippings and gaskets around the, the window and maybe caulking along the edges here and especially down on the bottom and on the top of the window that's often where they forget to caulk mm -hmm. um, and again it's it's simple fixes it doesn't uh, cost a fortune to do these we're back here in the family room uh, Fleming where we of course we saw before we thought we could see some air, air infiltration from the seam where the fireplace meets the wall now of course the blower doors running and it's it's very obvious of what we got here definitely got air infiltration yeah yeah exactly where the Frame wall structure meets the brick fireplace, there's some air gaps. And that could be a very simple thing to fix. It may be caulking the interior and the exterior, that's gonna make enough of a difference. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a couple of dollars at the hardware store for some caulking and uh, you may be done. Yeah, that's a great way to demonstrate how the blower door and the infrared camera definitely uh, work together and they're oh, two yeah. vital tools yeah. uh, for performing an energy audit. <clears throat> yeah, the, the two of them are just, uh, there's nothing that can replace it. It's, it's pretty amazing. All right, Tom, well, this concludes the uh, energy audit. Uh, we are ready to shut off the fan so we can get some heat back on in the house. And it looks like you have one more uh, piece of equipment there. Yeah, uh, the last thing I do before I leave the house, it's, it's just a good opportunity. I'm in the house and we can do a little bit of safety analysis on the uh, fuel burning appliances. So we do a gas sniffing with this instrument here right on the gas pipes mm -hmm. that feeds the hot water heater, stove, um, uh, furnace heating system. Mm -hmm. And then we do a carbon monoxide uh, gas leak check too to make sure that those fuel burning appliances are not producing a high level of carbon monoxide. Great. Well, as, as I understand it, you take um, all the information and of course create a report for the homeowner. I was looking through your report here and you've got a lot of information here. You've got your infrared pictures. Yep. You've got your visual pictures that you were able to save with your FLIR infrared camera. In addition to that, you've got the moisture reading from yep. your moisture meter, the pictures and the images and the video that you saved with your boroscope. There's a lot of information in here for the homeowner. Definitely, yeah. And that's the ultimate goal, to give them a, a very detailed report that they can uh, work with themselves mm -hmm. or they can hand it to a contractor and say, these are the issues that came up from the professional energy audit mm -hmm. and this is where we need to focus our work.